This is why I like this raft. It's got two oar holders, which I'm using as rod holders. And it's big enough for, you know, 264 pounds, which is a guy in his gear. Out here on Denmark Lake, it's windy, but it's sunny, it's warm. We're gonna try it again. What's up guys? It's Aaron Barton with Barton Outfitters, and we are back at Lake Denmark. It's a pretty windy little day. We expected that. So, we're gonna improvise. We don't have an anchor. It's too heavy on this little ass boat. Too much weight. So we're gonna tie off to stuff and try to stay where we think the fish are or might be. Starting with old post. Whoa! That was almost bad. We're casting at a log that is off of a, a grass point. Fish on. Got him. There you go, number one on the spinner bait. It's a windy day, but they can be caught. Fish on. Got him. Large mouth on the spinner bait. Love it. Uh, this is not easy to do an inflatable raft. We're gonna get spun back around. Cast over here towards that grassy point. One handed so that we can hold on to our spot. Now we reel. Texas rigged off uh, offset bend round hook, offset shank, round bend hook. We're gonna throw on a six inch chartreuse, chartreuse pepper, super soft six inch lizard. Hook it through the face, ow, pull it through the throat. Back around, stick it in the belly. If you're a Sigma Chi, stab them in the belly button.
fish on. Oh, dropped him. It's really hard to get a good hook set. Chartreuse pepper lizard might be the trick. So we're gonna try it again. Alright, just snag one on the spin right number four right into the boat. Right here in the middle of the water. Got him. Uh, another fun one in the Explorer, what is that, Explorer Pro 200, I think we caught six bass today, uh, primarily off of the spinnerbait, I'll have to go back and watch the video, but it was a nice day, super windy, not good for an inflatable boat, still caught fish, this is Aaron Barton with Barton Outfitters, getting me out.